guys, welcome back. So today's video is a continuation in my liquid lipstick review series. And today's brand is the requested Lonely Planet. This is an indie brand off of Etsy. Um, somebody had requested me to try them. I searched them on Instagram, and from their Instagram, I found a link to their Etsy page. So of course, I always have swatches on the back of my hand. I was playing around with a new palette I got in the mail, and also the color of this looked very familiar. Uh, this is the color Bowery, Bowery 5 or V, I don't, I don't know which one it is. And um, it's actually very similar to a Lime Crimes Faded, which I'll show you in the, the first check-in. So just like always guys, the drill is the same. I have exfoliated my lips with my Ava Anderson Lip Scrub, and then I went on to moisturize my lips with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm before I did my makeup. Now I'm just going to wipe the excess off. I'm gonna link a video below, guys. It's from a woman named Lauren. Her name on YouTube is Redhead PhD. She did this amazing um, analysis of the ingredients of all these liquid lipsticks and showed which ones are most similar. She totally got her geek on, which this girl really appreciates. Um, the video was amazing. What that really inspired me to do as well is, since I do YouTube um, and the times that I can when I'm not busy working, I am starting to work on a chart that was really inspired by her video um, that is going to really be based on the price range and kind of like value versus price and rank. I'll, I'll work on getting that up gonna have to channel my statistics classes that I haven't had since college, so we'll see how that goes. Well, I'm going to line my lips with Max Sore Lip Liner. This is a first impressions for me because besides swatching it on my hand, I have not put it on my lips yet. It's been in my pile over here. If you guys have seen on Instagram, I have like so many to catch up on. So, these smell yummy. These smell like cake batter. Yeah, vanilla. No, frosting. We smell like vanilla frosting. That's nice. Uh, let me zoom in for application. Okay. So this went on very nice. A very smooth, a very thin formula. I'm trying to think of what I would compare this to. Formula very much reminds me of a Stila Stay All Day, except a little thinner. It's not quite as moussey and thick as the Stila. See, it didn't go on streaky. So the drill is the same as always, guys. I am going to give this a total of eight hours of untouched wear. I will not apply a gloss. I will not retouch this lipstick. I'm gonna go about my daily activity. I will do my first check-in in four hours and the last check-in in the additional four hours. I'll also, at the end of this video, uh, do the kiss test to show if they are transfer proof and I will also show if they layer well depending on if it's worn away in areas. In my first check-in, I always give you guys the details like the cost, the shipping, the color selection, uh, the claims that the brands make, all that good stuff. I'm a little behind schedule because I got tied up with work. It is currently 104. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, so it's 5.40. Um, it's a little more than four hours after initial application. I'm gonna zoom in to show you the wear. Like always, these have remained super, super comfortable to wear. They're not drying in the least bit. They're not cracking. It's not flaking. I'll zoom in to show you the wear, but first let me tell you what I ate. So last night when we got home late from our long drive, we decided to order some Chinese food and I've told you guys I'm trying to cut um, meat out of my diet. A lot of meat, I'm trying to cut back at least half of what I was eating. And so I got these um, like drunken vegetables, it's called. It just had like snap peas in there, water chestnuts, celery, carrots, peppers. All these different veggies, um, water chestnuts, I, I don't know if I just said that, but it had um, some kind of, it cooks it in some kind of Chinese wine sauce of some kind. It was really good, but I heated that up and I had that for lunch. Um, I've been drinking water, but with a straw. I have a long straw for this, but the cat just took it, so it's not there anymore. Um, and that's it. So my lips weren't on anything besides a fork, uh, but there was some sauce on those. Let me show you. 
I'm really impressed with these so far. So um, let me give you guys some of the details for these. This is the packaging it comes in. It's just a plain tube and on the handle it says Lonely Planet. On the bottom it has the name of it. It came in this outer box that has the ingredients, which I like. On the back, it has just the directions, uh, the weight you're getting, 0.25 fluid ounces, which is the most of any liquid lipstick I have reviewed so far. The most being uh, Makeup Monsters, I believe, at 0.2. This was super cute. This was the packing envelope they sent it in. I appreciate things like this. I know that that sounds weird. Like, I mean, I don't really care if it just comes in a plain envelope, but when I opened my mailbox and I saw this in there, I was like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> so I like this. I know that these cost extra, but um, they are, it is cute. I also like that, that this fits in my mailbox. Um, I can't stand it when people send like huge boxes just for one thing and it doesn't go in my little uh, mailbox. Lonely Planet is an indie company that I found on Etsy. It looks like from the looks of their Etsy site that they are going to be launching their own independent website, which is always nice because when you sell on somewhere like Etsy, Amazon, they those websites take a percentage of whatever you sell. So that that kind of stinks. They do ship worldwide, their website says, and you can get free domestic shipping within the US with a purchase of $50 or more. Using the code LONELYPLANET77, I'll link it below if you guys wanna use that, if you buy more than $50. Below, um, as always guys, the lipstick I will link below as well as their Instagram page so you can check out all of the other really beautiful colors that they have. Currently, from what I gather from their website, they are available in 16 shades, 15 that are regularly priced at $15 and then they just recently came out with this beautiful metallic one that that's the one I actually wanted to get but I figure let me try the everyday colors because sometimes metallics can be tricky. The one metallic one is called Chatterbox and that is available for $17. I'll post a picture of the available shades somewhere around here. They have mostly browns, pinky, mauves, and then a red. These ship out of Orange County, California, which is down in the LA area. I ordered this on 1014. On 1017, I got a notification that it had shipped. And on 1024, it was delivered in my mailbox by the USPS. Shipping on these was completely reasonable. It was $2.54. So with tax, shipping, and this product, the total came to $18.74. On their webpage, it does say that they ship on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All sales are final, which is completely understandable because when an indie company has to take a bunch of reviews because someone opened it up and thought, oh, you know what, I already have a color like this, let me send it back to you. That's not very cool, so all sales final. These are handmade and vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. On my receipt, and later it was emailed as well, um, You got it looks like you got a coupon code, and this one said get free shipping on your next order of $15 or more with um, this coupon code. Mine expired on October 31st, so I'm guessing it's only good until the end of the month that you ordered. Uh, to touch on the ingredients on here, they have some stuff that is meant for spreadability, some thickeners, some emulsifiers, some emollients, some absorbents, pigments, which is the mica. Uh, they have synthetic vitamin E, which is this DL alpha. I'll link it below. And then they have some skin conditioners, glycerin, and then flavor. So nothing in here that would cause any concern for me to put on my lips or face. That's pretty much all I have to say about these right now, guys. So I will see you guys in another four hours. Hey guys, it's 9.15. It's eight hours after initial application of this lipstick. I'm gonna zoom in to show you the wear. For dinner, I had pesto bow tie pastas. These have held up amazing. I'm very happy with these. Um, they've remained super comfortable. Getting a little discolored on this inside rim. Um, I'll show you when I zoom in to show you the wear. I have been drinking water. Um, I had, I can't find where the cat put the straw. I think it's under the couch or something and I'm not putting that back in. Let me zoom in to show you the wear. See in there a little bit, it's starting to peel. Hardly anything though, um, given what I've eaten and drank. Uh, so as always guys, where I rank these is going to be determined on the kiss test and how they layer. I do have my list printed out. So nothing on the back of my hand. If you see something right there, it's very, very faint. 
and I still have a lot of this on. Now let's see if this can layer on that inside part that's just peeling away. Let me zoom in. Not bad. You can see a few flakes on the inside part where it just had started to rub away. These are gonna rank pretty high for me, uh, mostly because, first of all, the level of comfort of these has been amazing. It's like I've completely forgot I even had it on all day, which is amazing because typically with liquid matte lipsticks, it's right there in the name. They're matte, they're very drying. These are not at all. The formula is very thin. I could see maybe if you go on with too much that maybe these wouldn't dry down very quickly and they could transfer. But again, this is hardly anything for, for what it is. This is also gonna rank high because it did not go on streaky. It did not have a horrible smell. You're getting more product with this than any other that I have reviewed so far. I'm gonna rank this as number five. I'm gonna bump down Stila and everything below. These are on par with Stila when it comes to the kind of creamy formula of these. Uh, what I like about these better is you're getting more than you get with Stila and they're less expensive. I do wish that the shade selection was larger on these. Um, I hope that as her company grows, she comes out with some new colors because I will for sure be picking up some more of these. It's not gonna overtake um, like my top four because it did have a slight, slight transfer. And when I say slight, I mean very little, but uh, I have to have some kind of ranking system. So I just took my hair down, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go change in my pajamas, but I totally forgot I wanted to show you guys. This is Bowery 5. I think I'm saying that right. Bowery, Bowery. I don't, I don't know what that means. I'll have to look that up. That's on the bottom right here. And now I'm going to show you this is Lime Crimes Faded. So Lime Crime Faded is on the top here. They are slightly different, but very similar. So if you guys always wanted to get faded and you have a problem with the company or you don't want to spend the $20 or you want more than double the product, this Bowery 5 is a great option. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.